Hey, how's it going everyone? Nathan here from the ebook reader blog. For this video, I wanted to do a screen comparison review for the new Tab Ultra C. C stands for color, as you can tell, and the Kindle Scribe on the left. So these are the only two 10-inch e-readers with 300 PPI screens right now. Obviously, big difference with the Onyx Tab Ultra C screen is its color. So uh, definitely makes a huge difference when it comes to stuff like comics. So I'm actually pretty impressed with the Tab Ultra screen. It does, still has some ghosting issues. I haven't optimized this app. This is a Kindle app. Uh, some refresh a little bit better than others, but uh, the color is actually quite good. This is the third generation Kaleido screens from Ink. Uh, you do have some optimized settings in here um, for the Onyx devices. You can kind of um, you know, fine tune the refresh and stuff like that. I really haven't messed with it yet. Uh, switching over to HD and you got some different like balanced refresh modes. Um, but again, yeah, color, definitely a big advantage. Another thing I noticed, which is kind of weird, is the text balloons are actually clearer and easier to read on the Onyx Tab Ultra as well. I don't know if that comes down to the fact that it's downloading higher resolutions in the uh, higher resolution images in the scribe, but uh, for whatever reason, the, the black and white text in this particular comic and some other comics I compared a little bit easier to read on the color screen for whatever reason. Uh, so the color screen benefits a lot from having the front light cranked up. That's kind of one of the big differences between the color screens and the black and white screens as the color screens are darker just naturally in like an ambient lighting. So when you have the screen front light cranked up, uh, it just makes it look better, makes the colors pop more. So here's a look at both of them with the front lights turned off, uh, but there's some bright overhead lighting right here. So you get a decent amount of light. Um, I'll go ahead and turn that off here in a second and then you'll get an idea of a little bit more ambient lighting. Um, so yeah, the, the color screens definitely, you tend to have the front light cranked up a little bit more, just makes it look better. Um, then with the black and white screens, they tend to catch the ambient lighting better because there's like a, like the color screen is actually a black and white screen at the base of it. There's a color filter over the top of the screen. That's how the color works. These third generation color screens have 150 PPI. The earlier ones had hundred PPI. So they've improved the uh, color grid layer quite a bit since the first generation. I can't really even see it now. Um, it's a lot more subtle than it used to be. So it makes the screen a little bit clearer. It doesn't have as much like screen door effect as the earlier color screens had. In fact, I can't really notice any kind of screen door effect at all. But um, yeah, it does still have some ghosting as you can see here. It's not quite as clearly refreshing as the scribe. Like I said, I hadn't optimized it at all. You can optimize third-party apps on Onyx devices. So kind of cool having your color or your covers all in color as well on the interface. Um, but this is the biggest difference when it comes to color ink versus black and white ink. Uh, as you can see here, um, color screens, they're just a lot darker because they have that color filter layer over the top of the screen. So not as much light can get through to the bottom layer, the actual ink screen, I think is basically what it comes down to. So you do have a lot darker sort of like background with the color ink and it has gotten a little bit better over the years, but, uh, like I was actually really impressed with the uh, tab ultra screen here when I first looked at it because the text looks really clear with the 300 PPI. Um, and it's not until I compared it directly side by side with the uh, Kindle Scribe right here where you can really tell the difference. I actually thought it was looking really good. But then, yeah, you compare it right next to the Scribe with the regular black and white screen and the background is quite a bit lighter. You do have better contrast that way as well. And then just the Kindle interface has been more optimized for refreshing, get a little bit smoother refresh. Uh, one thing about the Onyx though, like I said, you have the app optimized setting on an app to app, app, to app basis. So you can go in here and save different settings. You can make the text darker so you can have like bolder text. And now we crank up the front light and compare it to the Kindle. It also has the warm front light. Um, and it looks more comparable. So it just, like I said, front lights uh, help a lot with the Tab Ultra screen, with the you know color screens in general. Um, sorry, the camera kind of went out of focus a little bit here a little, for a few seconds here. But um, again, you can increase the boldness with this, whereas the Kindle has the dedicated boldness settings. When you do increase the boldness with text, though, it will make the colors darker as well. Uh, another advantage with the color screen, of course, you got the different colored highlights actually appear on here. So, so just being limited to the black and white highlights with the regular, you know, ink screen on like a Kindle. So, you know, definitely some advantages with the color, some disadvantages as well with the screen being darker just in general. But, you know, with this uh, front light here, it kind of helps adjust it. And you also have the warm front light, like I said, both devices have the warm front light. So I'll do a full comparison between the Scribe and the uh, Tab Ultra C here a little bit later. I just wanted to kind of do a screen comparison for this video. So now I brought in the Pocketbook Color 
It has the previous generation color screen, so I wanted to just do a quick comparison between these two. Um, to me, I don't see a huge difference color-wise. Um, they're supposed to be a little bit better color now with the third gen color screens. I don't see a huge difference that way. What difference I see, and it doesn't really show up on the screen on the camera as much as I'd like, but the pocketbook um, with the older screen, you can definitely see the front, uh, the color layer a lot more. There's like the screen door effect. There's a lot more noise um, where it's just a lot smoother and clearer with the newer generation um, color ink. Um, and here's just a quick look at the text comparison um, between these two. Uh, this is another big difference, like I said, just because you can see and see the uh, the grid layer on the pocketbook with the older screen. Um, I don't know, it doesn't really show up on the camera all that well. It's kind of really subtle, but you can notice it in person a lot more, um, that screen door effect, whereas it's just a lot clearer with the newer generation screen. So that's probably the biggest improvement. It's just the front layer. Um, like I said, don't notice a huge difference with the color, but you know, screens, even with the uh, front lights turned off here, I think the uh, background just a little bit lighter on the tab ultra now catches the light a little bit more. Um, so yeah, that's been a look at the third generation Cladio screen on the tab ultra C. Uh, I definitely like the improvements because I've been more critical, like the black and white text on these color screens than the color in general, just cause of like that screen door effect, but they've definitely minimized that on the newer generation. Uh, this text actually looks nice and sharp and clear. It doesn't have that as much noise in the background with that filter. So uh, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to go ahead and post a full review of the Tab Ultra C here later this week. Check that out. Bye.